so as you guys know, I haven't been posting up videos lately. The weather here has been so cold, like minus 20, wind chill minus almost 30. Uh, plus I had a, a few family problems. My dad has been in and out of the hospital. He's 82 years old. He thinks he's still 30. He's, he still shovels snow, cuts grass and everything. Uh, good for him, but... Anyway. Um, but I have been watching uh, your guys' videos. Uh, Stacy Reeves, I've, I've watched your live videos. I've watched your uh, trucking videos when you're on the road. Uh, David Johnson, I've watched your videos also. Uh, I just haven't been there when they're actually live, you know. But I'll, I'll keep up to date with those. In this video, what I want to do is I'm going to show you guys what I've been up to because it's the weather out there is too cold to do anything on mini bikes or uh, or uh, go karts and that. So I'm going to show you what I've been up to in my basement and little stuff that I've been doing. So we're going to get to that, okay? Cool. on top here and that'll be I don't know if you guys can see but that'll be like the railing so here's the outcome of the birdhouse um, it's actually eight birdhouses there's four on the bottom four on the top uh, I'll come around this way. You guys can see. Sorry. Came around this way. All four sides are like that. I'm still going to touch up a little bit of the paint on there. Uh, this up here is actually a reservoir. Um, I put a little... I don't know if you got... Uh, obviously, you know. But uh, those containers that you um, put food in or whatever that has covers... Um, I made it look like a chimney, but what I did was I put one of those in there, and it can, um, for water. So you can fill it up with water for the birds and everything. I need to touch this up a little bit with the blue paint, because I siliconed it all around, so water doesn't leak in. So the same neighbor that asked me to, uh, build them a birdhouse, wants me to bir build them um, a bird feeder. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build a bird feeder out of the shape of an octago octagon. Uh, online I went to see how an octagon was made to get all sides even, same length. And some videos just didn't, weren't right, like, the uh, the octagon one one side was longer than the other and everything didn't never worked out, but then I found a video that showed me a very very easy way how to do this, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it before I get on to the bird feeder. So all he did was make a square. Doesn't matter what size the square, it all it, it all comes out the same. Uh, I didn't have a compass, so I just made one out of scrap wood and a nail and everything. 
Anyway, just from corner to corner, draw a line so you can find the center. I'll just grab your compass and right at one corner, open it up so it can reach the center, right here. And just come over like this. I'll show you. Both sides. Then do this to all four corners. Last one. Now the distance between these dots are exactly the same. And I'll show you. Just connect the dots like you used to when you were kids. There you go. You got a perfect octagon. All sides even. And uh, no measurements. You got to go through deciding how far you should go on this one, how far on that one. So for the bottom base, um, I glued these pegs here with little notches and what I'm going to use for uh, to hold uh, the bird food is this uh, CD or DVD um, casing and this will sit right on here high enough for the bird feet to come out and then you can fill it I open I open the hole up here so when you pour the bird food in, it'll drop to the bottom. And then I made a hole on the top piece, which will sit here with a little tube going up to the roof and a door on top with, so you can fill it up. So I made these pylons, uh, which I'm going to put one in each corner here. Uh, the way I made it was just uh, cut a square piece of wood and then at the bottom I glued um, small pieces of wood here all the way around to make it thicker. This one here is a bird feeder that I just made. And it's got a little plexiglass here. It's a little dirty because I've been cutting with the um, with the saw, but it's got plexiglass here, and uh, this is where you fill the the food up, pour the food in. It holds. It'll hold a lot of food in there. This is another bird feeder here that I just finished making, and also. You just lift it up. I just got to touch up with the paint over here. Lift it up to, to fill it. But that's another one. The reason why I put that thing in the middle there is so it can spread the bird feed outwards. And then there's this one that I still have to sand and paint. Which is this. It's a lighthouse. This is not on yet. I, I need to put hinges here so I can open it so you can fill the food in, put pour the food in. And a birdhouse right next to it.
let me show you what I'm doing now. I'm doing a few things at, at once, but this is a birdhouse here. I have this clamp here, so I don't know if it's in your way. This is a birdhouse here that I'm making. And it's got windows on the sides. I actually have LED lights in those windows. And I have an LED, LED light in here to shine. But it doesn't go inside the house. I blocked it in the back. And next to it, which it's going to be like one unit, is uh, is going to be a windmill. And uh, I have a, a LED light in here. And on top, this is the top that I'm making for it. I don't know if I'm going to end up putting a rooster here with the arrow and that. Like it, it's called a wind wind rear or whatever the hell, the hell they call that and then here I have uh, red LEDs so here's where I'm at with this uh, I built some stairs here to go to the to go to the windmill there is the windmill there this is all one unit eh? and I got this rooster up here uh, the way I did that was I just got a, um, a template out off the internet and everything and then cut it out uh, with my bandsaw. And here I made this to open. Sorry. I made this to open uh, so you can put the bird feed through there. Because this one, this here acts as a bird feeder, and this one here is a birdhouse, right? Um, I don't know if you guys can see, I did a little doorknob there. It's a lot of sanding and cutting with the exacto knife. The bird feed comes down into here, all the way around. And, uh, yeah, I did a little picket fence all the way around. I made a, there's LED lights in here, I'll show you in a second, but I, I had to block it so the LED, the light doesn't uh, go inside the house, so I blocked it, and, and I tried to paint, like, make it look like curtains, but I don't know if I did a good job or not. There's another door there and everything. I'll show you how the lights come on. Uh, on the top, I put uh, red lights. Uh, the door, there's a little window on the door. It's also got a light and a window there. And the birdhouse also has a light. Two windows on the side with lights. And the one on this side has a light also. Like I said, none of these lights shine on the inside. They're all blocked off from the back. Yeah, that's what I've been up to. So this is a marble machine that I've been working on for um, my son-in-law. It's not perfected yet, plus this is not leveled. So, but I'm going to show you the basics of it. This is a lift here, this two-stage lift. So it'll pick up the ball. This circle here will pick up the balls from the bottom, bring them up to this ramp here, and then put them on to this lift. And this one will bring the, ball, the marbles to here. But I, I'm still waiting. The motors that I have, it, they're too fast to turn those gears. So I, I'm waiting for a, a 20 RPM motor for this lift here. And I'll show you how the other ones work. Um, let me just hook it up here. Hopefully it'll be good enough to show you a demonstration of what I'm doing. Marbles keep falling off that one for some reason. Then when this lift is working, uh, the marbles will come down through here. They'll go onto this thing here, which when there's enough marbles on there, it'll let them all. It'll release them all. There's 
available. It'll release all of them at once. So at the beginning of the video, I was trying to show you what I was doing with the sled. There's, there was no sound. For some reason, my camera went out of sound. And on my table saw, what I was doing, I like I built um, a platform here so it can extend. It's an extension, and then I built this, which is a. I can cut like straight wood. Like if I want like sometimes you have a piece of wood like this and you can't use your fence because the wood it's gonna wobble on you, right? But this one here, you can actually put it here and just make your, your cut. Right? That's what I was trying to show you and there was no sound. Anyway, on the on the uh, marble machine part, I think I said that I was building it for my son-in-law. It wasn't for my son-in-law, it's for my grandson. He just turned a year old. Um, I must have been drinking. So yeah, those are the, some some of the things I've been up to. Um, I gotta get back onto the internet. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm building a, a website. I have like a forum website. Uh, I have a video site, a YouTube uh, clone website, which I'm putting videos on there. Uh, the, the site is still closed until I get like content on there. And I have a store also for people to buy stuff. And maybe buy some of my t-shirts and hats or whatever just to sponsor the channel. channel. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I've been up to and I'll see you guys on my next video hopefully I can put up a video hopefully the weather is gonna get up get warmer and I can get back to go-karting and mini bikes that's what I like I like doing woodwork too but um yeah we'll see